Expectancy Value Theory Expectancy Value Theory is based on four assumptions. Number one, people will seek to confirm their self-image. Number two, different activities afford different opportunities to confirm or contradict one's self-image. Number three, people tend to value activities that confirm or provide opportunities to confirm their self-image or that align with long-term goals more than those activities that do not. Number four, people are more likely to engage in tasks that have higher subjective value than those that have lower subjective value. This theory recognizes that one's culture, context, and history play a role in what people expect, what people value, and how they behave. In this model, social context is perceived and interpreted by individuals. The way these inputs are digested in a way influences how the individual sees his or herself, which in turn influences and is influenced by the types of goals and expectations one has for the future. These goals, expectations, and values then result in behaviors. For example, what task will I choose to participate in and how hard and how long will I try? Individuals who do not see an activity meshing well with one's personal identity, one's culturally defined role, or with one's goals tend to choose not to participate in it. Whether or not the activity is valuable for the student's academic or personal success is not the issue. It is what the student perceives as the value and the expectation of how likely one is to obtain that perceived value is what matters. The big idea here is to take each student's perspective when designing tasks and think about how each one may answer these questions. Why should I do this? Am I able to do this? What will I gain if I succeed? What will it cost me if I fail?